here it is, the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare Trilogy. Hi, I'm Kyle with Leaderboard, and this is our Call of Duty Modern Warfare timeline. Now, because the makers of the Modern Warfare series seem to think plot twists don't have to be limited to in-game storylines, we want you to know we're well aware that the most recently revealed COD title is going to be Call of Duty Modern Warfare. No number, but it's the fourth game in the series. This is distinctly different from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, which is the first game in the Modern Warfare series. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare was then followed by Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, it's, it is a weird number system, but hey, it's still not as confusing as the COD Zombie storyline, which if you do want to learn the COD Zombie storyline, we did simplify that and put that into a video that you can check out, but you're most likely here because you want to hear the Modern Warfare storyline. So, let's get into it. The events in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series are loosely informed by actual historical events. And by loosely, I mean very loosely. In the basic sense that World War II laid the groundwork for a Cold War between Russia and the U.S. that lasted from the mid-1940s to the early 1990s. This was a competition of sorts between two of the world's largest political powerhouses and was at least partially inspired by a looming possibility of nuclear warfare between two countries. Further, events such as 1986's Chernobyl nuclear accident really did happen, but because this is a modern warfare timeline and not a history textbook, we won't go too deep into the nuance of all that stuff. If you want to take a look, it's in a book. Further, the first two games in the Modern Warfare series don't always reference specific dates, so some of this timeline involves piecing together a sequence of events based on context cues. And so it begins. If you're a fan of HBO, you know the Chernobyl disaster took place on April 26, 1986, at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the nearby town of Pripyat, Ukraine, when a faultily constructed nuclear reactor went haywire. More than 30 people perished due to the effect of this incident, which also left deadly pockets of radiation in the surrounding areas for years to come. John Price, who was then a young lieutenant, as the British like to pronounce lieutenant, would later refer to this event as Christmas for bad guys, since the disaster allowed them to get their hands on nuclear material even up to a decade later. One such bad guy was Imran Zakayev, an extremely powerful Russian leader. The British government had authorized an assassination order on Zakayev, and Price, under the command of Captain Macmillan, was tasked with infiltrating Pripyat in order to undertake this effort. The two men managed to get a vantage point on Zakayev and his associates. As the bad guys began their exchange, Price managed to blow Zakayev's arm off with a sniper rifle, but there was never a confirmation 